Hello and welcome to the English Box. Today we're going to talk about romantic relationships. First of all, we will look at a text and then we're going to look at the vocabulary and analyse the meanings of these different words and phrases. So to begin with, let's read the text. Miriam is my partner and we have a wonderful relationship. We get on really well. We've been together for about two years. I started going out with her when I studied in Bristol. Funnily enough, we met at my ex-girlfriend's house at a party. I'm still on good terms with her, and she didn't mind me meeting up for drinks with Miriam and getting to know her. Miriam is very serious about our relationship and wants to get married soon and have kids, but I'm a little unsure. Children are a big responsibility, and I'm worried I'm still too immature to look after them. The last thing I want is to split up with her, though. I know lots of married couples who have separated and divorced because of the pressure of juggling jobs, time, and finances in order to have kids. I don't want that to happen to us. Okay, as you can see on the text, there are a number of different phrases and words which are underlined with a red line. On the next page, we can see these phrases and, um, and words and a definition of each. So first of all, we have a relationship. Now, a relationship can be good or bad, and it relates simply to the connection that you have with someone. For example, you can have a working relationship, or you can have a more social relationship. To get on well with someone. To get on well with someone means that you have a good relationship with someone. To be together. If you are together with someone, then you are in a romantic relationship with them. To go out with someone. This is very similar to uh, to be together. It means that you are seeing someone or that you have a relationship with them. An ex-girlfriend or an ex-boyfriend is a boyfriend or a girlfriend who you had in the past who you have now split up with. You are no longer together. You aren't going out with each other anymore. On good terms. To be on good terms with someone means something similar to to go out with someone. Um, sorry, not to go out with someone, to uh, to get on well with someone. If you are on good terms, then you get on well with someone. But on good terms often means that you wouldn't expect to be um, to have a good relationship or to get on with each other. Perhaps something bad happened in the past, but despite that, you are on good terms. You do get on well with each other. To meet up for drinks. To meet up um, means that you meet each other casually or socially. And you can meet up for food, meet up for drinks. Okay, when you meet up with someone. This is a phrasal verb. To get to know someone. This is after you first meet, after the first time that you meet someone, you spend some time getting to know them. You learn about them, you meet their friends, you go for drinks together, you go for food together, and you find out about each other's personalities. This is to get to know each other. To get married. This is the ceremony when you uh, get married, you become husband and wife. To have kids. Uh, this is simply when you have your, your babies. Uh, when you have a baby as a couple, then you have kids. A big responsibility. A big responsibility or a responsibility is a particular duty or obligation. For example, when you have kids, you have the duty or obligation, responsibility to them to provide for them, to educate them, to protect them. These are your responsibilities. Immature. If you are immature, then you behave in a very young way. Um, and if you are too immature in this particular instance to have children, for example, then you don't feel as if you can provide for them. You aren't uh, ready for or ready to have kids. To look after someone is to, care, to take care of someone or to be responsible for someone. To split up is the same as to break up when you're together and then you separate. You are no longer together. Um, 
a married couple, two people that have been married. To separate uh, is when a married couple or an unmarried couple, um, when they split up, when they break up, we can say to separate. And to divorce is a little bit different because it's to legally separate. So when you sign papers saying that you are no longer together and you don't share any of the finances or other things that go with being married. And finally, to juggle jobs and time means that uh, you constantly have to try and find time for different activities or responsibilities. Uh, and when we say that you juggle these things, we mean that it's very, very difficult to find time for these different things and it's very difficult to delegate um, and to allocate time for these different activities. Okay, for our German and Spanish um, viewers, here are the translations. So you can pause the video and check out these different translations. Uh, finally, I want to have another look at text. So if you pause the video now, and then I'm going to ask you some different questions about the text. So pause the video, read through, try and remember all the information, and then I'm going to ask you some questions about this information. So let's have a look at the questions. First of all, do Edward and Miriam have a good relationship? What did the text say? Did they have a good relationship? The answer is yes. In the text it said they have a wonderful relationship and they get on very well. Number two, how long have they been together? Do you know? The answer is two years. They have been together two years. And how did they meet? Well, they met at a party at Edward's ex-girlfriend's house. Does Edward get on well with his ex? What do you think? Yes, it said that they are on good terms. This means they get on well. Does Miriam want to get married? Yes, she does. She wants to get married and have kids. What is Edward worried about? Well, he's worried about uh, the responsibility that comes with having kids and he doesn't know whether he is mature enough. And why does Edward think many couples split up? He thinks that many couples split up because of the responsibility of uh, juggling and the need to juggle time, um, jobs and finances. And he thinks this can be very, very stressful. Okay, so that's Edward and Miriam, but what about you? Do you have a good relationship with your girlfriend? How long have you been together? How did you meet? Do you get on well with your ex-boyfriends and girlfriends? Or is it a little bit tumultuous, your relationship with them? Do you want to get married? Are you a little bit too young? Do you want to get married in the future? What's your opinion of marriage? What are you worried about? <laughs> a big open question there. And um, what uh, in the past have been your reasons for, for splitting? Or for split friend or boyfriend? What has been the cause? Feel free to post us a, a video response or write in the comments section and we'd be very interested to find out your opinions. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you'd like to see some more videos along the lines of this one on grammar and vocab, then feel free to come and visit us. We'd love to meet you and see you at English Box. Um, or you can take a lesson with us over the internet with this system. So, hope to see you soon. Thank you very much and bye-bye.